Okay, the bung or indicator fishing. It's controversial. I personally don't like the method because it is very easy and you can teach a relative novice how to fish it well and he will outfish a competent angler who is straight lining nymphs. It's that easy. Once you've got your depth set correctly. Your indicator or bung is on the top dropper. Now, personally, I will fish the indicator or bung probably six to eight inches from the end of my fly line. Now, the reason being is that it's a shorter length from your fly line, it will turn over better. Some anglers like to have six foot to the indicator, saying that if the fish are dropping deeper, I can take the indicator or bung off, replace it with a nymph, and then fish four flies to get further down. I think it's counterproductive and I think the indicator will tangle. So I stick to, to one method and one setup. So you have the bung. Traditionally, most of us fish a nine foot six or a 10 foot rod. The first dropper is probably three and a half foot under the bung. The middle dropper is a further three and a half foot under the bung at seven foot and a point fly a further three foot to 10 foot. You effectively cast out and let the flies set. They'll settle, You're, you've got perfect depth control. The flies are being held precisely at that depth. You don't need to retrieve other than to take the kink out of the line and you watch the indicator will bung like a float. Any movement and just lift into it. When the fish are finicky or they want it static or they want it just on the lift, it is absolutely deadly and you cannot replicate that straight line nymphing or on the washing line. As I say, for, for, for fish that are very easily spooked, you can cast it out and leave it and it's, it's perfect. Okay, what flies would you fish under the bung? Now, obviously a lot of people just associate bung fishing with nymph fishing and as I said before, fishing three buzzers under the bung can be deadly, especially on still waters and reservoirs. Alternatively, um, Fishing egg flies under the bung is also very, very good and should not be underestimated, especially on small still waters. The egg fly goes sort of a slushy candy floss type of consistency. The fish just swim up and suck it in. It is an absolutely deadly method and shouldn't be overlooked. 